Previously on Darkest Case. What? Uh, we received a call. Call about what? Where's your wife? Wait, don't no, no. to Brian. He was found this morning with multiple knife wounds in his body. Why were Rolini and I informed of this? Just do yourselves a favor and stay out of it. Todd? Stay out of it. Sinclair is hiding some vital information from us. We need to find him. So what'd you find? This blood is less than two hours old. The body was just here. Where do you think it went? I mean, you have the same radio I do. Did you hear any coroner being called here to remove the body? I haven't heard anything. <sighs> Something's wrong here. Can I help you guys? What are you two doing on my crime scene? Making sure actual police work's being done here. I can assure you, I have it covered. Rolini! You really think drinking is worth losing your job over? You think getting your teeth kicked down your throat is worth keeping it? Bransky! Let's go. You two have a good night.
No. No. <laughs> When was the last time you saw your therapist? Uh, about a week ago. Well, he called. He said he hasn't seen you in a few months. He's concerned. It's nothing. I just don't want to talk about it. All right? You can, you can talk to me. I can help. I, I've, I've read enough. Oh, because you know you read something on the internet. Now you know everything about anxiety. That's exactly what I'm hearing, right? You know what, Todd? I've been through shit with you. And I used to think it was something that I did. And the only reason that this isn't working is because you're afraid to let someone in. What do you want to know? What do you want to fucking know? That I hear voices all the fucking time? That I'm scared to do everything in life? That I'm afraid to go, oh, I gotta touch this fucking light it's fucking million times? Do you think I fucking enjoy that? Every fucking day! Is that what you want to fucking hear? I see people that are dead. I see them everywhere. And they're fucking dead. But I see them. And then I start imagining, oh my god. Oh, did I? Yeah, could I have done something different? And then I start having these fucking compulsions where I go this way and I go that way and I fucking touch light. Fuck! Do you fucking know what it's like? No! So you can't help me! I don't fucking enjoy doing any of this shit! You can't help me! Nobody can! God, this is a fucking mistake. No, Todd! Todd! Please! No! Just, just go, please. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this. Okay? Stop. Just go. Go! Don't touch me. Go. I can't do this anymore. What? This anxiety stuff causing so many problems. Then don't. It's easier said than done. Oh, it's very easy. You just haven't gotten pissed off enough to do anything about it. Oh, okay, so I'm not pissed off enough already? I take out all my anger out on Emily every time I come home. Do you think I enjoy doing that? It's not her fault. So that's it? <laughs> that's what it comes down to. All the shit you're going through. And it's girl problems? So what? It's called a relationship. It's called dependency. You're walking around with a leech on your back when you're not even strong enough to stand on your own two feet? You don't need that, Todd. I mean, everything you're going through, all that pain. What's your reward? What do you get out of putting yourself through all that trouble? I don't know, love? <laughs> oh, you look real love right now. I can feel the love tonight. <laughs> Love's not worth breaking your back over. Love destroys people. People do things in the name of loves so they can feel a little better inside. It's never about the good of others or the safety of other people. It's always about them. All those songs that say, I love you, I need you. You know what that is? It's self-love. It's never selfless. There's few of us that are used up, thrown away. They expect the good and the selfless to serve the useless. That'll change.
John? John, are you here? Ashley! She's lost a lot of blood. It won't be long now. I put two nails in each hand. You'll have to work a lot harder than that if you plan on freeing yourself. Who are you? So you're the Red Mask Disciple. He did the biopsy report. He got rid of the fingerprints. Created the John Doe to cover your ass. I knew it was you. No offense, but he didn't do a good job. Is that so? Tell me. How's Emily? How's she doing? <laughs> So, where do you want it? The head? The torso? Fuck you. Yeah. I was thinking head too. John! I was talking. 
This is gonna hurt. Darn it. Ah, fuck. Thanks. Ashley. Ashley. We go. Ashley. Come on. John? John? I'm ready to pick up my stuff. I'm gonna have to get you up this tree, okay? Oh, jeez. Alright. Get you out of here, okay? John? How did you know we were here? There were three of us. Now there's one. No. Go! Go! Why'd you join them? Join them? I started it, you piece of shit. We we're supposed to fix society. Or at least weed out the bad ones enough so the good ones can have a chance. That first one you killed, that was my protege. Taught him everything he knew. But then he brought in some deadbeat uh, idiot kid. He had no coat. And he fucked it all up! Oh, now it's just me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to finish what we all started. You ain't doing anything. You're coming with me, John. It's not my dying day yet. I'm walking out of here. You haven't pulled the trigger yet. I suspect you're not going to. You're coming with me. You've worked with me how long? You think I'm gonna let myself get arrested by you? I don't give a fuck, you're coming with me, John. My work isn't done! If I don't finish it, somebody else will. You know this does not end with me. John!
Was it you? Emily! You already know the answer to that one. <laughs>